I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find the quadratic equation from given roots that is to say we will work backwards. So let's begin by taking very simple examples. Uh, let us say that the roots are so we will write down the roots as x1 and x2 right so let's say x1 is uh, 3 and x2 is let us say minus 2. So these are the two roots for a quadratic equation. You need to find what the quadratic equation is. Now, how are you going to do it? Well, the method is that since we know these are the two roots, we can say that the quadratic equation y will be equals to x minus x1 times x minus x2, correct? Now, in our case, we know that the two roots are 3 and minus 2. So we could write this as y equals to x minus 3 times x plus 2, right? You can always expand this and write it in standard form to get the quadratic equation uh, in standard form. But that will also work the quadratic equation in factored form, correct? Okay, so that's a simple example. And let me take another example here. And we say that the roots are, we say roots are, uh, let us say plus minus 5. Now in that case, what is going to be the quadratic equation? So we have two roots. One is plus 5, the other one is minus 5. We can write this as y equals to x minus 5. This is for plus 5. So we always take minus. So when I write plus 5 here, it becomes 0 and it could be x plus 5. Is it okay? Or you could also write this as y equals to x squared minus 25, right? So x squared minus 25. So that becomes kind of standard form of writing, right? So as far as the integer roots are concerned, it is uh, kind of simpler. Uh, you could have roots in fractions also. For example, if I say that the roots are, or sometimes we use the word solutions, right? So we say roots are, uh, let's say, x1 equals to half and x2 equals to 0, right? So I'm using these roots. Now in this case, it would be y equals to x1 equals to half. Now in this case, you could write this as x minus half, is it okay, times x minus 0. You could do that. Anyway, this could be written as x minus 0 is just x, so x is good to write. And here, we could write this as 2x minus 1, right? So we are writing this as 2x minus 1. You will know that these two equations are actually different way of writing the same thing. So when I say y equals to x times 2x minus 1, look back. Do we have root of half? Yes, we do. 2x minus 1, when you equate to 0, will give you x equals to half, right? So that is how you will get your equation. So these are some simple examples. Now let's uh, try to do some uh, difficult questions. And what we will say is that uh, let the roots be radical roots. For example, x1 is uh, uh, 2 minus square root 3. And you know they are always in conjugate pairs. So I could write this as 2 plus minus square root 3. Now that is so the x1 and x2 so we say the roots i should say x1 and x2 well okay you understand so so let me say roots at 2 plus minus square root 3 so how will you do this one well to do this we could say y equals to x minus so if i'm using plus i will say y equals to x minus 2 uh, over than this plus square root 3 times x minus 2 minus square root 3 right okay and then I could write y equals to uh, open the bracket so get x minus 2 minus square root 3 times x minus 2 plus square root 3 and of course I have to expand to write it in standard form to get the solution I hope you're getting the concept right so it becomes more and more complicated. Now let me share with you the real question which I want to discuss. 
Now, if my question is, uh, write quadratic equation in standard form. with roots at so if I write a value which is kind of a complex number like this uh, let me write down like 4 plus minus square root of 76 divided by 10 so now the question for you is that write quality equation in standard form so not in the factored form so that is to say I could have written this in factored form then I have to multiply and then get my solution right so the question is write quadratic equation in standard form with roots at 4 plus minus square root 76 divided by 10 how are you going to do this kind of a question that is that is the question for you now it becomes really complicated if you go with the method which we have discussed so far now my suggestion here is to adopt absolutely a different method now the method here is uh, okay so the method here is that if I say that in general equation is y equals to ax square plus bx plus c for any quadratic function where the value of x is what the value of x is minus p plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a correct so that becomes the root is it okay minus p plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a where the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c now we are given the roots 4 plus minus square root 76 over 10 from this root can we get the equation look at it we could compare it with the form minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a and get the solution let us see how so if we compare what do you get 2a is 10 so we say 2a equals to 10 so a is equals to 10 by 2 or a equals to 5 is it okay now minus p is 4 so we have minus p equals to 4 or b equals to minus 4 right so we got two values straight away a and b so we have found what a is and what b is now it is the question of finding c to find c let's look into the discriminant right so we have here uh, let me do it in a different thing we are saying b square minus 4 ac is equals to 76 right within the square root sign we have b square minus 4ac we know what b is we know what a is we can find c you get an idea so b is minus 4 so we have minus 4 square minus 4 times a is 5 c is 76 so that gives us 16 minus 20 c equals to 76 or we can solve this as 20c equals to taking 20c to the right 76 to the left right 16 minus 76 which is 0 7 take away this is 60 so we get c equals to 60 divided by 20 which is 3 do you get the idea so we get all the three values perfect so what we get here is a equals to 5 b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 3 since we know all this we can write y equals to ax square which is 5 5x square plus bx which is minus 4x plus c 3 is 3 right so plus 3 so that becomes the equation for which the root is 4 plus minus square root of 76 over 10 do you see that so this is an alternate way of finding the equation from the given roots and this method is extremely good we could apply it with for any of the previous questions also right so we could do that so that is how you could find the equation for the given quadratic function when 
we are given its roots. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.